Hey guys, in this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this kind of shadow effect onto your text and add a sense of depth into your design. This is one of the most requested tutorial on my Instagram profile and I'm so happy to show you guys how to make this. It's super simple and super easy. So with that said, I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and without any further ado, let's jump into Photoshop and let's see how to make this. Alright guys, so here we are in Photoshop. Let's start by creating a new document. I'm going to keep it 2000 by 2500 with 300 of resolution. Hit on create. Here we have it. Let's add a background really quick. So I'm going to add a solid color. And for the color, this effect works good when you're using dark backgrounds. So I'm going to use something similar to my Instagram post, something like this one and we can delete this. Let's lock this layer, select the text tool to add any text that you want. I'm using the Devant Horgan font. You can of course use any nice bold font that you want to use, but this effect goes really well with uh, only few fonts that are really thick. For example, Devant Horgan. Then it also goes good with Barlow if you want to try that out and many other basically, you know, thick fonts. So I'm just type in, um, let's type in shadow. All right, let's place it into the center there we go there we have it now we can hold alt and drag this to create our second text now one thing that you need to make sure is your second text should be below the first text so i'm gonna place it you can use the arrow keys just to position this up and i'm gonna call this let's call this effect and i can hit ctrl r to bring up the rulers and then drag out the guides just like so and then i can just stretch this out all right hit ctrl r and let's get rid of this so that is looking pretty nice now i can see that this is not properly aligned up into the center so let's just try to eyeball this so let's select the text tool go into effects and let's add a drop shadow let's move this okay now for the blend mode i'm gonna leave it at multiply for the shadow color i'm gonna go with a nice dark black color opacity of 100 angle of 90 degrees and then i can increase the distance just to see where we are getting so i'm gonna keep it just a touch somewhere around you know let's keep it at around figure of 50 and then let's increase the size so you don't need to go completely, you know, wild with this. You can just keep it very subtle, something like 65, 65 works good. And you can see we start to get this really nice depth. But now to add a little bit of color to this, because shadows are not usually completely black. They have a subtle color to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this icon. So it's going to add another drop shadow. And on this drop shadow, I'm going to give an accent color. Now the accent color can be anything it can be from your background or it can be from your artwork i usually use a combination of orange and you know dark purple theme so if i want to go with the dark purple i can just select the background color and make it a lighter version of that and hit okay you can increase the size a bit of that and it's pretty subtle it's even not even that no noticeable if i just bring down the black just a touch And let's set this to normal. So you can see it's pretty subtle, but it's very important to get this really nice realistic look. So I'll keep the black to around 70% and that is what I am going for. Now, if you're using a secondary accent color, as I told you, you can go with a different one. So let's say if I'm using a combination of purple and orange, I usually go with this nice orange highlight it's pretty subtle you don't need to go that high maybe a bit just a touch but usually i go with a nice purple color because my background is purple so it looks pretty nice and bam there we go maybe i'll bring this a bit closer 
and there you have this very nice shadow effect onto our text and to copy this effect you can just simply select the layer right click and copy layer styles let's add a second or third text so i can just hold just drag this down let's assume that this is our third text i can select the second one right click and paste layer styles and bam there you go really simple and really easy to achieve this effect so i hope this quick tip video is helpful to you guys if it was make sure to subscribe comment like and follow me on instagram and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out